This is wrong. Just wrong. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. A Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs. Overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... <laughs> Off me! Get him off me! Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. All non-relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power coupling is All right, complete. Move.
Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Fronts fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. If you're security, be secure. I know one. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkins. Circle of life, Karkins. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Who do? Who don't? Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. Pathfinder. The scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could see where the nest is located. It's a Karkin nest, all right. Fan out. That's it. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. Accessing the tower at up, the chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, 
A standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a cat pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omnitool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? He intended to kill the chief. He pulled the trigger, believed he'd done it. Banish him. Agreed. Sometimes we must rule with our hearts. I hope my conscience will be as clear as yours seems to be. Well, at least we'll have this sordid business behind us. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! That's it! You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Tram technicians, please report to the no, Hyperion no, no, Public I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know. We'll find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. 
Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep... This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. This person is not a match. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Biometrics do not match.
Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who? Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. We know what you've been up to. You're done here. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just doing my job, that's all. Proof says you've been up to no good. Vigors, screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... Whatever happened back then, hurting people now makes no sense. What do you know? <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. Colonists will be taking you over to the Nexus. You'll need to clear him This is not good. I'll make it right, Dash. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Boy, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. I wouldn't think that's even possible. 
You and me both, but Sam, well, I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Is that you, little brother? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? He's away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah, I know Dad. He probably said, she'll live, and went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. <laughs> How many times has he yelled at you so far? Oh, the usual. Well, when he gets back, tell him he needs to stop picking on my little brother. What's home like? Is Habitat 7 as beautiful as they promised? Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. That's fantastic. So many things could have gone wrong. Now I've got a reason to get out of this. You can't have all the fun. There's plenty of hard work, too. It's what I signed up for. I should be helping you guys. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. Tell Dad to save some for me. There's a mountain out there and needs naming. It's mine. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. Make them hear. Make them know. Make them lead, or make them go! Hey, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. This is a big issue. Bigger than just my say-so. Bullshit. You're the hero right now. They'll do anything you say. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Free our families! Ryder, we exiled the prisoner, Nilkin. Tough decision based on what you uncovered on Eos. His wife, Mariette, insisted on going with him. I'm sorry to hear that. It'll be a tough life out there for her. For them. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this.
protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than Space Rider. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kangros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. If you resort to violence, so will the leadership. And they have the militia. We're not the enemy. Why is it so hard to push a button and help mom? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. How many times have I told you this story? 343. Wait, what? You've been keeping count? <laughs> Rusha, that's not funny. Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Off to the cargo bay, if you need anything. Did you hear the news from Eos? Asari refugees showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Pathfinder, do you... Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quotes Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions?
My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. That could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Welcome back, Ryder. Dr. Arbordana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam! Religious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Detecting to countermand malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam! Is that another malfunction or. Sam, you trying to show me something? Wait, wrong order. Wait, wrong order. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus. Specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. You'd need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Building a bank of vaccines once we get more biomaterial. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti, complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Pathfinder Rider, if you will. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Vina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent the virus to save you. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. 
See, this is what our movement's all about, stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. A whole movement of AI-hating hackers with a My leader called Amina. Knight. If I she and her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Hello. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were a second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the Scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? 
Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Callia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CEO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Who'd pick a fight with the most powerful species in the galaxy? Themselves, usually. Terrorists, cults, rogue Ardot Yakshi, people demanding a withdrawal from the Citadel. The Asari were spacefaring when our Roman Empire was new. Didn't fix all their problems. Sometimes you need commandos for that. After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Those Asari refugees were a real help. Now to find the survey ship they mentioned. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. How long does it take? So you've set up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm still going through what we got out of the EOS vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Hytiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. P outstanding, Pathfinder. Nuh-uh-uh, -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly, stop digging. 
I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No, but I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. With all our outposts, they're spoiled for choice. They might arrive in time to help with the first harvest. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someones. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos... Well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome, too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, Maybe someday I'll have roses, too. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvian Gill eyeball it, then fast-track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human Pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. 
No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, so... Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Well, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. Oh, come on, think. Think! I need... something. Who are you talking to? Ryder! Shit! You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just... talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. I don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. That's all I need to hear. And this... should... do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mmm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. That'll be fun. Okay, then. Say no more. Oh, you mean... now? Here? <laughs> you do know what say no more means, right? <laughs> Whoa. <Huh. laughs> oh, we're floating right into the um uh... Ouch. Who cares? Ow. Ow. Hey, can I see you in the med bay? They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The cat turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. 
The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. This is really getting to you. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just... I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder. Or whatever you like. Nothing fazes you, does it? You always bounce back, smiling that smile. Like you know it's just what I need. You're important to me. Is that so strange? And sweet, too. What's a girl to do? I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the Ket. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare... I know this job was a surprise. But you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene-stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course. But also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Don't do it. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. That flight recorder was a mess. Are these nav points solid? Worst case, we get a little closer. I'll take a good chance over no chance. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do. We're approaching the nav points Cora found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Why would the Asari Ark be here? Might be lost, or looking for something. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Reading life signs, and minimal power, multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. If she's spaceworthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together.
aboard. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. Tundra, of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. Hmm, how unfriendly. This area saw combat action. No bodies, though. Whatever happened left the captain a little trigger happy. If the Tempest looked like this, how would you feel? But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. <clears throat> Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Cora here thought the famous Sarissa would have everything in hand. I thought Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder, ma'am, and you were her bodyguard, like her Tiamna. I served with the Sari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my Ark. What happened? Why are the cat after you? Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those cat bastards. So I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data. All their secret routes through this phenomenon. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... We'd stand a better chance against them. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things... problematic. How many borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now, they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. God has preserved me. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The Drive Corps is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the Drive Corps, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. The Ket will suffer, I promise. The last commando report came from Hangar Control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. Pathfinders take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice and... Cora, nothing will happen to me. I didn't say that. Didn't you? Come on. The sooner we find those commandos, the better.
Was it this quiet when the Arcs were traveling through dark space? Imagine centuries of dark silence. Alone. The Lucinia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. Here we are. Hangar control. There. That's no cat. Stop! In the name of the goddess, I'll... Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? Just about. I'm Ryder, the Human Pathfinder. This is my team. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second-in-command. Sorry about the mix-up. I hope I can help. The Captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right. Yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Why keep the hangar bays open? There's no ships around. I think the cat are trying to reach the bridge. Cat can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route, too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL. I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. Starting hangar door closure sequence. Kent! We've got this. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice, steady fire! Yes, ma'am! Hangar door closure at 21%. Unlocked. Cat access is cut off. Electrical junctions just overloaded. Shit. Vidaria? Vidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload? If. If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, uh, something big. Maybe the decimation hunters rigged something up. I wouldn't put it past those wretches. Those cats. They must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. If we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, 
Look for whatever's draining power and maybe help with the fire? Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Ryder, it's Sarissa. We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right. Go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, ma'am. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sirisa out. An evacuation order. Someone must have dro dropped it. It says not to wait for family. What else is worth waiting for? Difficult to shoot what you can't see. Watch your step. What's this? It could be a small shrine. The nameplate says Matriarch is Shara. The Pathfinder who died. Badiri here. I'm almost at the stasis pods. Ah, blasted. No power for elevators. Badiria, cut the elevator's mag locks. If the arc's like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, ma'am. Emergency alarms. The cat did that to them. Another reason to bring down retribution. <laughs> trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power, or the explosion damaged fire control. We could fix that if we find the controls. And then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. It's Vidaria. The cat saw me. I am trapped in an air vent. Ready your biotics and pick them off as they pass. But they'll hear. You're a huntress, a silent predator. Okay. Going silent. Yeah, light them off! We're after the fire suppression controls. Over there. Get the fire controls, and we can get this out. Ah! Yeah, that's pride. Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. I recommend searching for an alternative. Powers. The Ark needs fire control more. There. Let's try again. 
That should cool us off. Videri again? I got the cat. They got me back, but I'm okay. Nice work. And with the hangar shut, I managed to track the real power train. Here's the nav point. I'll see you there. Captain Atandra here. We're warming up the drive core, but we need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. We've lost so many, and Matriarch Ashara. It can't be for nothing. Some engineer left before she could clean up her workbench. These com components were taken from ARC systems, including power distribution. Explains the problems we're having. What could be worth gutting the ARC? Observation deck. A pity there's no time to appreciate the view. People must have evacuated from the deck beyond. Thank the goddess, you're all right. Here, this is what's draining the power. What is this thing? It looks like the cat attack sheared off some hull plating. Then someone rigged up this Mass Effect field device. The field's so strong it holds the hull together. It would help people evacuate the deck beyond. And give anyone sensitive to Mass Effect fields a nasty migraine. No kidding. But they'd survive. That deck's deserted now. We have to turn the device off. I tried pulling the plug, but nothing. Can you scan it? Maybe your Sam can figure it out. The device requires two people for shutdown. One disconnecting the cables, and another at the device itself. I'll handle the device. Caution. Once begun, the failsafe cycle must be completed, or the device will fuse. Ready, Vidaria? Disconnecting the first cable now. Cat! Watch the device! We'll handle them! But we need you, Vidaria! You can do this! <laughs> If it breaks, let them breathe back you! They're down. Okay, next cable. Ready when you are. Second cable. We're getting there. Rider, this must be the last of them.
it's gone. Uh, we've got spare parts of the Nexus, right? It's Captain Atandra. Ryder, the drive course coming online. You did it. A few minutes, and we're out of here. I'll take a breather once we're at the Nexus. That's smart. At least sensors are clear for now. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. We'll keep an eye on that hull breach, just in case. Sarissa should be proud, Vidaria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you. For everything. Goddess guide you. Pathfinder. Restoring power has freed up a data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Can you access it? Get the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, they'll tear the Ark apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy us time. Can't reinforcements approaching, Pathfinder Ishara. Sarissa! My Sam can Tiamna, please! I have to save them, even if I can't save... Forgive me. Tiamna used to mean guardian of temples, a champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Sarissa left her to die. Sarissa was forced to choose between her Pathfinder and her Ark. She made the right call. Look around. Does this look like a right call? I... Damn it all, Ryder. What do I do? First, we... Atandra here. The Cat Hunters blindsided us. They have a dropship headed for the breach on Deck 12. How long until we have FTL? Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Helmets on, people. Caution. The mass effect field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Could be useful. Keep your mag boots active! They have none! Exploit that! Thank <laughs> you. 
skeleton crew, but enough to patch up the Ark. She'll make it to the Nexus. Whatever it cost. You need to talk to Sarissa about Ashara's message. I wanted to thank you both. That was exemplary work. I'm proud to- Ma'am? Sarissa? We know about Ashara. The log survived. Then her final moments her won't final. be lost. You deserted your Pathfinder. You should be better than... I chose protecting all these people over a single life. The choice they train us to make, Lieutenant. But you didn't tell anyone. Because then you wouldn't be their shining hero. And maybe that's how it should be. Being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. Ryder, you know this, don't you? They need to hear the truth. Let them handle it. Ryder, Cora, don't do this. Sorry, but we need to prep for the Nexus approach. We've got a hell of a story for them. There's... more. Sarissa chose retrieving the Ket data over saving Ishara's life. Our Sam found the succession log. You've... One of your harebrained ideas got Ashara the killed? The Ket killed her. I had to be sure the Ark could escape them. And we did, again and again, while they hunted us down. It's only dumb luck that Ryder found us. Who's next in line? Bedaria? Maybe a Pathfinder with some humility can do better. You can look to Ryder's example. I worked out okay. Vidaria will find her feet. I defended you against the Ket. Vidaria can't face them. She's not- A huntress without the trust of her team. Stands alone. She is a tree in the desert, bearing only defiance. My own words, Lieutenant. They're true. Ma'am. Let's go. They're safe. That's all that matters now. Hey, you okay? Can I just do today over again? 
and not have a Pathfinder stripped of everything she loves. I put so much faith in Sarissa, but the Asari were just as lost as we are. We know our mission. I think we're finding our way pretty well. <laughs> Should have known better than to say that to a Pathfinder. Thank you for being there, on the Lucinia. Can I tell you something? Anything. The old man was right to choose you as Pathfinder instead. I don't blaze a trail. I always look for the mentor, their plan. As a Pathfinder, my mistakes would be worse than Sarissa's. Everyone makes mistakes. You're still you. Smart, talented, wonderful Cora. That's what you see? It's what I always see. How? You're so important and damn heroic. And all I see in the mirror is Sarissa, the pathfinder I might have been. You defended us on Habitat 7, found the Asari Ark, and fought the Ket, all without being a pathfinder. That's just my job. And you're really good at it. Look, I know we flirt. The other person flirts back, and it's fun. But real talk? I feel a hell of a lot better with you here. Would a hug be okay? Absolutely. Thanks. I'm okay. Or I will be. Just have some thinking to do. If I can get you off my mind. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We've had raids. With all our scientific gizmos, we expected pirates. But not this. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. 1-2-3. What? what am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy. So someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. Tactical? You mean military? No. That was an unguarded voice. He means Rokar. That's why he called us. An attack on our first outpost? Can you imagine how the Nexus would react? Exactly the response Axul wants. I'm sure we can check it out without drawing too much attention. You're the person for the job. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tan. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Bradley was right. Rokar on sight. Watch for reserves after the first assault. Understood.
clear. And we still have Bradley's signal. Right. Let's see what they were protecting. This worries me. Roka are not pirates. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. That's the Roka strategy. A scout would have placed the beacon in the center of Prodromos. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Blackrock was a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. This job is half done. We need to ensure they don't come back. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. Not like the first two. Promise and resilience. What are you planning? We use their beacon. They want a target? Let's give them one. On our terms. Site 2 is still powered. You could broadcast from the old comm array. Bait and switch at Site 2. Let's go. Marked for Rokar signal upload. Hit the button. It will draw them right to us. We know. Starting Rokar signal upload. Are they heading toward us? The Rokar have altered course. Now might be a good time to take cover. Human, I told you you'd know soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the ground. Holding. Here we come. Oxul, the Pathfinder is coming. Come on, 
the last of them. We did it, Ryder. Pathfinder, Axel's shuttle is leaving orbit. I'll remember this. We're not finished. You are today, and we'll be ready next time. Come to Padromos, Pathfinder. We owe you. Again. Pathfinder? The Rokar attack is over. We'll know what to watch for in the future. It can't just be this old man and his hunches. Special thanks to our friend Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. Jal would agree there's a line that shouldn't be crossed. There will always be people like Axul. Not here. We'll see to that. How's the team holding up? A little shell-shocked. Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something? If you like. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent. And this was no exception. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed. Despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Hey, can I see you in the med bay? Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Jal, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Jal Amadarav, you always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. I didn't mean to make my enemies yours. Mm -hmm. He said similar things before. When we were students, the Moshai paired us together. We've never gotten along. I thought I could reason with him, but after Prodromos and this... You did everything you could, Ryder. Aksul wants us to do something reckless. Let's not give him the satisfaction.
You more than anyone know how dangerous Axul is. <sighs> Why were they allowed to speak with him? They aren't children anymore. We can't control their every move. You remember how you were. Please, Jarl. <sighs> I'll bring them home. Are you okay? Three of my brothers and sisters have joined the Roka. Luxul has poisoned them with his hatred of aliens. And your mothers want you to bring them back. The Roka have made camp at the forge. Many consider it the birthplace of our civilization. Axul likely believes this bold move will create more fanatics for his cause. Ryder, he has my family. But I don't think I can do this alone. You don't have to. Just tell me the time and place. Hmm. No hesitation. You are a good friend. I have a contact who's been monitoring the Roka. I'll set up a rendezvous with her. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. from the Forge have stopped. It's under Arxul's control now. Any advice on how to get inside? My shuttle can drop you nearby, but that's about all I can do. Ephra doesn't want to make enemies of the Rokar unless we have to. We'll keep a low profile. Afka says you need a ride to the Forge. Be quiet, huh? Better. Not a miracle worker, but I'll do my best. You ready? Let's do this. Jal, you sure you want me here? Bringing an outsider will give the Roka a different perspective. Just follow my lead. We'll get my family back. find your family. The Moshai brings all of her students to the forge. I know my way around. The Govatan, a welcome center, is up by... It's deserted. The Govatan is usually filled with travelers. Afka said no traffic in or out. Doesn't explain where everyone went. Where are the Roka? Axel pulled us out of the lab today. Talk to us about the Milky Way menace. Dehydrated. No one's watered them for a while. These were taken from the forge. They would have been given the utmost care. Rivals were steady until a week ago. Most Angara come here at least once in their lives. Either for the tradition or to share. You know. It's got juice, but everything's offline. Should I reestablish comms? Let's leave it for now. 
Might tip off the Rokar, wherever they are. Wherever the Angara went, they left a lot of supply. It's behind. Stuff you'd want to take with you. Aya and the Resistance provides... Found something. Looks like a journal. Everyone's so enamored with Axel. You'd think he was the most shy. I told Droka to make him leave. But she said that all Angara welcome at the Forge. Especially one trying to protect our culture. <laughs> Protection? Is that what he promised? Looks like someone tossed it. They left in a hurry. Or we're forced out. Sign of your family? No. The Rokar know we're here. Maybe that will flush them out. I detect electrical wiring underground, Pathfinder. You can use the scanner to follow the wires. There. There's a bridge to the ruins beyond those doors. My family should be there. us going that way. How are we going to get to them now? We'll have to jump down. Ah. 
Now what? Up the hill. We got company! Sharpshooters! We need to get higher ground! Axul must have sent reinforcements! that ledge. Intruders have reached the nest. I count three. Wait! I know those voices. Lasso! Go for backup! Lasso! Wait! Stop! It's Jal. Jal, is that you? <laughs> Barrage, our mothers sent me. All of them? Did our mothers send this human too? I'm Ryder, Pathfinder with the Initiative. I should kill you right now. Tevint, please. Why'd they send you? Because we've lost enough to the kid. They're afraid to lose you to this insane cause. But, John, I want you to meet my friend. So you can see that Aksul is wrong. Trust me, we have as much to give you as you have to give us. We all win. Who cares? The Angara don't want anything you have. We don't need you. Jal, our mothers want us to live truth. It's because I love my mother that I will die for this cause. is going to blow this place Let's up. Go. That's why I sent the researchers away. Stop. He has bombs. Talking. Stolen from your people. Those bombs go off. It'll look like the initiative did it. We have to disarm them. No, 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 no. The bombs in the forge. I'm okay, Ja. I'll be fine. If he pins this explosion on the initiative, this gets bad. Really, really bad. I hate Axul. Don't let him win. You got it. I'm glad you're here. It's to find those bombs. If Axul's willing to blow up the forge, there's nothing he won't do. Ryder, if he shows up... I know. Follow your lead. Are already set. How long do we have? <laughs> 
for now. Watch the pillars! Or we'll lose the fort trying to save it. My mind, Jal. I want to go home. But the cause. I joined because of you. I shot our brother. Don't leave Let me. her go. I only want soldiers who are committed to our cause. Not weaklings who stand by and watch the destruction of our people at the hands of aliens. Blowing up your sacred birthplace seems pretty drastic. Your cause is falling apart. Like you. I speak for our people. And I say, you're done, you humans. <laughs> Martyr me. Please. I dare you. I don't kill unarmed crazy people. They move onto our planets. They take our resources, make us weak. I've watched Ryder make planets habitable. Exactly, and they'll never let us forget he it. He rescued your beloved Morsai. I know. Saved her life. I know, stop defending them. The Morsai trusts Ryder and stop. We've been fighting the wrong enemy. Maybe the enemy. Is this traitor easy? Jaw? Don't! The Moshai trusts Ryder. You've become a danger to your own people. Walk away. Or I kill you and reveal the resistance for the traitors they are! I never... Couldn't even kill me at short range. <laughs> they are here. Let's give them a minute. Thank you for trusting me. Killing Axul would have made the Roka stronger. He shot you. I'm glad he did. It exposed how far he'd fallen. Axul walked away, but what stops him from coming back? His pride will keep him in the shadows. You have done my people, and me, a great service. Thank you, Ryder.
<laughs> You've been practicing. A little. We should get back. I want to say goodbye before my family heads home. 